Okay, we are going to go ahead and get started today. If you are at home, you could have downloaded the notes. Um, they basically look like this. They may have a little number before them. I don't think they do. You can be writing or typing on that or taking notes on your own notebook paper. That's fine. Really quick, and this is not on this page, we're going to do a review of SARE. Actually, let's put SARE and a star. We know from last week, weeks before, we did a star to be, and it is H-E-L-P-P. The forms of a star are estoy, estas, esta, estamos, and están. These should be in your notes. We also know from this week's notes that we had a new verb that also meant to be, which was ser. So both ser and estar mean to be. The forms of ser are soy, eres, es, somos, and son. And we learned that for ser, the last several days, we've said it stands for a C, which is a characteristica, like being tall, short, nice, things like that. Soy alto, tu eres bajo. Today, we're going to talk about the O. The O stands for origen. And you know that you need to know that, well, here, we'll start writing on these notes, I guess. The O stands for origen, and that basically is your origin. Mm, I'm trying to think in English. I think it's with an E. Your origin, which is where you are from. And by where you are from, generally, that's where you were born. Okay? So, in Espanol and Spanish, the word de, D-E, means from. It can also mean of or about. But for today, it's going to be our from. It's kind of an ugly from, but from. All right. So, let's look at number one. It says, we find our verb, we are, and we want to say, okay, we are what? Oh, we are from Mexico. Being from Mexico is an O, an origin. So I'm going to go right up here, and I'm going to say, all right, if I went to all that trouble, I'm going to pick one of these verbs. So I'm going to pick the nosotros form, which would be somos. The word I just told you for from is de, and then Mexico with an accent on the O. All right, next one. Um, oh, actually, look, this is what I've done. I forgot about this. All right. There's a huge difference between we are from Mexico and we are in Mexico. I'm going to switch to my blue up here. Being in Mexico is our location. And location is right over here with a star. So this one tiny word, in and from, made a huge difference. If we're from Mexico, I have to use somos. But if we are in Mexico, I have to use estamos. And the word for in is in, and then we get Mexico. All right? Since I'm writing in blue, I'm going to skip it over, and I'm going to do number four. This one says I am here. That's not telling where I am from. That's telling where I am right now. That's my location. So for I am, since I said I've got to use the form of a star, I'm going to go up here and use the estoy. And then the word for here is a key. Kind of like I open the door with a key. So we get estoy, a key. Voy a cambiar. I'm going to go up now and do number two and switch back, maybe. This one says I am from here. Being from here is my origin. So since I'm using origin, I've got to use one of these verbs. I'm going to pick the yo form, which would be soy. The word for from is de, and then here is aquí. So quick review on that ser song. Remember, it goes like this. Ser means to be C-O-P. Soy eres es, somos y son, da 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 da. Characteristica, da 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 da, or rehen, da 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 da, da 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 da, da da da, profession, and time. So hopefully you're reviewing that. It's been on the notes and the review several times. Holler at me if you have any questions on the difference between locacion, location, with a star, 
and origin or being where you are from with the verb ser. Adios.